I met um, my fiance, now to be my wife, Nuria, online five years ago, 2019, and we kind of had a short chat. And then the first time we spoke on the phone, we spoke for like four hours. She was a very busy person. She works six days a week, seven days a week. It's that from the. With me, nobody has to. I got to know her much better, obviously. Over time, I kind of found what her interests were. They kind of coincided with mine. I was in a 15-year relationship. I'm not afraid of responsibility at all. She seemed a very sensible person. She's a very straightforward person, so. Also a very kind person, very empathetic, so yeah. We kind of got to know each other slowly, but surely. The fourth time that he asked me, I feel like maybe next time he won't ask me anymore. So I said yes. He asked me to go to Hong Kong because I want to go to Disneyland. He said, are you afraid of going to a trip or riding a plane? And I said, no. And then he said, don't worry, I will hold your hand if you feel nervous. And then, <laughs> Oh, COVID came along and destroyed everything. We were going to meet and we never met. And then I felt sick for no reason. I felt like seriously sick. Nuria would call 20 times in a day. It's impossible to believe that. But she would call literally 20 times. So my phone would ring on the, on the 20th one. I'll wake up. He says, I knew maybe you were sleeping from the drugs. So I made sure you were awake. Go have a shower, go to work. So we did that for months and months and months. I love you is very easy to say, but to me, I love you comes with responsibility. It's not enough to be a man, I have 10 children. I think if you're gonna say I love you, it's going to be not, I'm in love with you, like a buzzy, romantic novella. It's going to be long term, and it's gonna come with some ups and downs. My motivation is always the same. I'm loyal from the first to the last. I'm not the handsomest guy, I'm not the tallest guy, I'm the, none of those things I am. All I am is a guy who just tries to be very straight and um, be responsible and that's it. Because I have this prayer that when I'm still in college, I always go to three churches a day and then I always pray that, you know, if it's for me, just give it to me. If not, just take it away from me. And every time that I will meet someone, it ends up so soon. So when I met Anthony, I always asked for his sign. So until now, it's been like more than five years. Anthony. This is the sign of my love to you. This is the sign of my love to you. I trust you. I trust you. And honor you. And honor you. I give this ring. I give this from the bottom of my heart. From the bottom. In the name of the Father. The name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the, and of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Amen. Spirit. Amen. Once I came to Philippines, I didn't believe anything like I love you, believe belongs. In the real world, I didn't believe it. Because I've seen it as a way just to, you know, <laughs> to get money to somebody else. And then I met Nuria. I was extremely sick, like so sick. Many days, the doctor thought I'll die. And this woman would call me 20 times in the morning just to make sure I'm away. Doesn't die the night before. So the, when you say, oh, what do you see in her? Now you know. It's our shared secret. I promise to love you closely and unconditionally today tomorrow and for all the days of life. Um, I'm particularly low, lawful, Lord, and she's particularly annoyingly angelic. She has a very, very few faults. Naturally, when we have a fight, I think you have a thousand faults just to get my own way, but she's near perfect, you know? I don't believe in God. Because I've seen too much since I was a kid to believe in God. But from hearing what the gentleman is saying as a reverend, mm -hmm. seeing how she has a simple faith and works with him, I'm prepared to give it a try. Something in
touch, baby The way that your body is moving me And I don't know where this all will go Oh, nobody knows, oh 